Hi there. Today we're going to go over the bar job controller guide setup or what we call the cross hop bar setup. This is how I set up my bar but yours might be different and that's okay. This is just the best for me and my mindset when playing. These are broken into four sections, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. Every DPS is different and each setup reflects that, except for the one tried and true rule which I keep, which is single target is mostly on the right side and AOE is mostly on the left side. These controller guides are perfectly set up for all content from one to nine and you'll never have to move an ability when you sync down. Right trigger one letters are burst shot, refulgent arrow, blood letter, and imperial arrow. These are the bread and butter of Bard and you'll be pushing these buttons a lot. The goal of this setup is to basically be spending most of your time on that right trigger one letters the most while throwing in your other OG cities and songs. I will talk about the floating hot bar at the end that is special to Bard specifically. Right trigger one d-pad is raging strikes, pitch perfect, caustic bite, and storm bite. Raging Strikes is used on cooldown but is very long and only here because it's right in the beginning of our opener. If you are wondering how I have Pitch Perfect on my bar, that is because I had this setup before the updated patch. So you will just put Wanderer's Minuet here which will turn into Pitch Perfect. It will be in two places for ease of use when you are in that song. Caustic and Stormbite are here because after initial use in a perfect world you'll never have to cast them again as we have Iron Jaws to reapply both dots. Right trigger two letters is Iron Jaws, Wanderer's Minuet, Mage's Valid, and Army's Payon. There's a big reason Iron Jaws is here in this spot, and that is because your dots are 45 seconds, which is just about how long the songs last. Now, they don't perfectly line up, but you want to avoid dropping your dots by all means necessary, and putting Iron Jaws here to remind you to look at your dot timer is key for me personally. The three songs are specifically laid out in this section as this is the standard order for these songs. They are also here, so they are close as possible to all of the HUD layout timers right above everything, so it's all in one place when you're looking Looking visually. Left trigger one letters are Landon's Bite, Shadow Bite, Reign of Death, and Apex Arrow. Landon's Bite is here to mimic our single target ability on the right trigger, as well as Shadow Bite, which mimics our single target proc. Same with Reign of Death to mimic single target blood letter and Apex Arrow, although you won't be using this as often as the other abilities since we have to wait until the gauge fills up. Left trigger one D pad is Battle Voice, Radiant Finale, Barrage, and Sidewinder. Battle Voice and Radiant for now are double weaved in the opener and this is the easiest spot we have left open. Barrage is here because it weaves near Sidewinder so it's another easy double weave. Left Trigger 2 letters and Left Trigger 2 D-pad are basically just job actions and limit break, nothing too exciting, so you can move stuff around if it's easier or makes more sense for how you play or pair things. Another thing you can do is mimic the songs on the single target side and AoE side so you don't have to go back and forth, but I don't find it to be a problem. I find this to be the easiest setup to not forget timers as you'll see with Bard, it's incredibly proc heavy and a lot of button pushing. Now let's chat about the floating hotbar. I do not use this for any other job in the game, although you can if you like why it's being used for Bard. Bard is incredibly proc heavy and timer heavy, meaning if you are constantly looking at your cross hotbar, instead of the fight, you will definitely take some damage or miss some timers. To remedy this, I have created a floating semi-transparent hotbar with all the important abilities to see when they're on cooldown. This then becomes muscle memory in which button to push when they are showing cooldowns. This is the only way I can keep my DPS up as barred as high as possible. This does not mean I don't look at my cross hotbar from time to time, but I try to spend most of my time looking at the fight and the floating hotbar. I just arranged these with priorities of use and cooldown timers, which is Refulgent Arrow, Blood Letter, no need for Reign of Death since they share a timer, Imperial Arrow, Pitch Perfect, Apex Arrow, Sidewinder, AoE Shadow Bite, and then a space for buffs. Then we have Raging Strikes, Radiant Finale, Battle Voice, and Barrage. I cannot personally play Bard without this hot bar. Now I really hope this can help you with the Bard as I find it to be one of the harder jobs on controller to play at first, but once you memorize button positioning, it's almost a 100% intuitive play unlike other jobs where it's more 50-50. A lot of other jobs don't have as many timers and gauges or as fast paced as Bard can be. If you want to check out my other best of cross hotbar setups then you can find those in the description box or at the end of this video which you can click here.